Okay, so we're doing question three. Consider R to the R, the vector space of all functions from R to R, and two of its subsets, E, uh, which is the subset of even functions, and O, the subset of odd functions. Describe zero vector in the vector space R to the R. So it'll be the function that's always zero, right? The function that's constantly zero, so... Uh, how can we describe it? So we say that function zero from R to R uh, such that you know, zero of x equals zero for all x. For all x in R. Okay. So let's put that down. So Point one, so it's that function where zero of x equals zero for all x in R. Okay, that's three point one. Three point two. Show that E is a subspace of R to the R. So we've got a closed chain that's closed under linear combinations and it's not empty. So it's got, it's got the zero vector in it, right? So Zero of x equals zero, which equals zero of minus x. Okay, of course. Um, so, it's the, so that's there. And then closed under linear combinations. Um, so we take, we had a f plus b g at, at uh, so you put here, let me put minus x. That would equal a f minus x plus bg minus x, which would equal afx, which would equal afx plus bgx, which then we could group again. Yeah, okay, so that's, those are the two things I needed. Okay, so we have zero of minus x equals zero, which is the same as zero of x, and then we have, um, we are gonna assume that F and G are in E, um, and also that A and B are scalars, okay, and then what we get from that is that if you go A, F plus B, G, and evaluate that at minus X, that is the same as doing a, oh, doing a f at minus x plus b g at minus x is the same as a f x plus b g x because f and g are in e. Um, and that's the same as a f plus b g at x. That's all that's necessary then. So it's that shows that it's that AF plus BG is in E. Okay, so that proves it's a vector space. Three point three. Let E union zero. Let E union zero be the subset of R to the R that contains all the vectors that are elements of E or elements of O. Is this subset a subspace? Provide an argument that shows it is, or a counterexample that shows it's not. So, just all the even functions and odd functions. Is that a subspace? It's got the zero vector there, sure, because this zero vector is even. Is it closed under that tradition, scalar multiplication? If you take an even function and add it to an odd function, do you get an even function or an odd function? You might get neither, right? Because if you take, so like x is odd, and one is even, but x plus one is neither even nor odd. So that that would be a counterexample. Okay, so three point three. So the function x is um, odd, and so that means that it's function x is odd, and the function one is even, right? Oops. So that means that x 
x and 1 are both in this, this e u o thing, which is even add on functions. But x plus 1 is not even or odd. It's not even and it's not odd. So it's not in the set of all even and odd functions. Um, why, how do I know that? Because minus x plus 1 is not equal to x plus 1. And also minus x plus 1 is not equal to minus times x plus 1 either. So that proves that proves that x plus one is the first one proves that it's not even, and the second thing proves that it's not odd. So it's not so it's not in either of those things. So it's not in the union. So this thing is not a subspace. Okay. Is that it? Yes, that's it.